Disclaimer before starting, this video contains interpretation and speculation. Before we can talk about hate, I'll have to explain Rainbow Dash to some people. Rainbow Dash is one of the main characters from the TV show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Just from the wiki, her primary character traits are loyal, competitive, self-confident, brash, mischievous, and self-conscious of public appearance. For this video, I also want to quickly describe what happens in two episodes. Short summary, here we go. Read it and weep. Rainbow injures her wing and is stuck in the hospital where she truly tries reading for the first time. But because she thinks reading is uncool, she hides it from everyone. But also tries to get them away as fast as possible when they come to visit as she can't stop reading. When she is released from the hospital without finishing the book, she refuses to get a copy from the library or store. Instead, she breaks into the hospital, which ends in a chase where she is eventually caught and explains she likes reading as if it's a big thing. And nobody acts like it's a big thing. And Rainbow says she won't discard something without reason anymore. Rainbow Falls In this episode, Rainbow originally trained with the team from her town, but then gets the opportunity to join a much better and cooler team from the city she is originally from. Unable to choose which team to truly join, she fakes an injury, so she doesn't have to choose. After learning that the person on the second team which she replaced wasn't actually injured, and that the team just wanted her instead, she stands with her own team and down talks the other team for being deceptive. With that knowledge, let's talk about hate. For the longest time, I thought I hated Rainbow Dash focused episodes. Rainbow Dash herself was fine and all, and as long as she wasn't the focus, I enjoyed her. In the two episodes I summarized, it's painful to watch Rainbow trying to push people away so she doesn't reveal her secret. That can be the secret of how she likes to read, or how she isn't actually injured. She takes such idiotic actions trying to steal a book because she doesn't want people to know she changed her mind on reading. Or to fake an injury just not to have to choose between teams. When she was the focus, it was just hard to watch. I thought I hated them because they were awkward. A huge difference between our characters made it impossible to understand her. She let her pride get in the way of everything. The obvious wrong actions she takes makes them a pain to experience. This was my way of thinking about rainbow focused episodes while watching the entire show. And even a couple seasons of re-watching the show. And then it began to dawn on me. I did not hate rainbow focused episodes because we were so different. I hated them because we were so similar. Now, this might require some explanation. In most ways, we aren't similar. Activities, interest, confidence. When I say I hate those episodes because we are so similar, I'm talking about one individual character flaw. The character flaw that I probably hate most about myself. What did she try to avoid? In Read It and Weep, she tries to avoid anyone learning that she changed her mind. She did anything in her power to avoid that social confrontation. In Rainbow Falls, she does everything to not have to choose between people, to avoid the social confrontation that entails. You see the pattern? Rainbow seems to be social conflict averse. Physically competitive, but avoiding social confrontation at all cost. Even if it means doing something clearly stupid, like faking an injury or theft. I honestly don't know which one of those two is worse, though I'm pretty sure both are illegal. Now, I also avoid social confrontation like the fucking plague. Now, I'm less proactive in my avoiding of it. Where Rainbow will try to steal a book to avoid explaining she likes reading, I'll do something potentially just as harmful. I will avoid contact so I don't have to explain anything. That means that friendships can be hard or even end over me not wanting to discuss something. If I'm late for something, I have to fight myself over actually still going 
instead of just not to avoid maybe having to explain why I'm late. And yes, this doesn't help because if I don't come, then I have to explain why I didn't show at all. It's the obvious wrong actions. Yet, it's what I'm inclined to do. Let's quickly talk about something that seems relevant. Let's talk about Blues from Overly Sarcastic Productions, explanation on the infighting in Christianity. I swear this is on topic. He explains that it's a problem of the uncanny valley. It's so close to what feels right, but it's just not there. And that leads to frustration. To notice all the little errors. Now, is this the reason why I hate Rainbow Dash focused episodes? No, I don't think so. I think my reason is far worse. Yet, more interesting. There are two options, not mutually exclusive. Self-defense and internalized hate. Now that I've dropped that bombshell, let's begin with self-defense. There are a lot of ways your mind does self-defense. Yes, not just your body, your mind too. Your mind will try to do its best to avoid emotional harm. Some of these are goods, to a certain extent. Like blocking out harmful memories. Got a fun example of that myself. Can't tell it though. Literally can't. My mind refuses to truly recall that memory. I know that I have the memory, but it feels like it's a memory of a memory. I can't access it directly. There are barriers to keep me emotionally healthy. Now, I very much think that this is the reason I didn't see the similarity for so long. My brain actively avoided seeing the similarity. It's painful to watch, but realizing why it's painful to watch would be more painful. Potentially even emotionally harmful. Prime material for your brain to take steps to not notice it. I think the only reason I started to see it was because I was so prepared for the episodes being painful that I overhyped the pain to myself. So when it was way less worse than I thought, that may have also turned off part of the self-defense. Of course, secondly, there is internalized hate. Now this probably sounds worse than it is. And it may be the case that there is a better word for it, but it's the best I have so deal with it. As I said before, this is the part I hate most about myself. I hate how I can't just solve my problem like I feel like I should. Calling someone for an appointment should be easy, right? Ha! No. That can take hours of mental preparing. And even then, it's extremely easy to put off for the next day. And repeat. There are many more flaws I have. Unorganized, failing to achieve goals, shy, even a dislike towards parts of myself. But those are not things about me that I hate deeply about myself. This also makes them easier to lay connection to others. There is a reason I felt more similar to some of the other characters in the show. Starlight, Sunburst, Fluttershy, Luna, all had character flaws that I recognized. But shyness is something I know I have have known so for a long time, and it's something that I've been getting better at for a long time. It's a slow and unsteady process, but it's there. It's a common flaw. It's something I can live with. My inability to deal with social confrontations in the way I know is best? That's the thing I hate most. Mostly because I know how I should act, yet I can't. That's actually very sunburst, isn't it? That's why I couldn't see the similarity between me and Rainbow Dash. It was the part that I and my brain didn't want to see. And so I never saw it. Now, am I saying that everything you hate, you hate because it's actually something of yourself you see in that which you really hate? No, of course I'm not saying that. But it is something to consider. If you hate something, why? Put some thought into it. If it seems too easy to answer, like for instance, she does the obvious wrong thing, 
maybe try to see if there's something deeper. Although, maybe don't. If you can't see the similarity, maybe you shouldn't. I discovered this in a time where I became crazy introspective. That may not be something everyone can always afford. Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Potentially shallow, but it is tough to argue what's better. Shallow bliss or deep depression? This has been Phoenix. saying farewell. Mm -hmm.